Today, our goal is I find the volume of a rectangular prism. So volume, again, is the amount of space something occupies. You have volume. I have volume. This board has volume. So it's the amount of space that an object occupies. So in order to find volume, we have been using strategies with cubes. But today we're only going to be working on rectangular prisms. And when we have rectangular prisms, we can apply certain formulas. Now, a rectangular prism is any type of rectangle. So you'll remember that a rectangle is something that has four sides. And these sides are parallel and they come together at 90 degrees. So those are some rectangles. This is a rectangle, but this is not a rectangle. This is a funky, funky shape. And, and therefore we cannot apply what we're going to learn to this. So when we have rectangular prisms, we have a rectangle shape, but now instead of being 1D and flat or 2D and flat, it is 3D. And this is when we can apply our length times width times height. So our length is normally the across. So if we are looking at this from above, the length is one of the sides. And then the width is how deep it is. So that would be this. So length and width and the height is how tall it is. So we can use this formula only on rectangular prisms. So again, they must look like this. So when we apply this formula, there are a few ways that we'll see it. Sometimes they'll give us a rectangular prism and they'll label the sides and they'll tell us, well, this one is four inches and this one is 10 inches and this one is 12 inches. So then we just put our numbers in. So four times 12, because four is my length and 12 is my width and four times 12 is 48. So I did this piece first and then I need to times that by 10. So 48 times 10 is 480. And then I need to put inches cubed or you can put 480 cubic inches. Either way, both are perfect for fifth grade volume. So you can see them in figures like this, or sometimes they're just gonna give you the pieces of information for you to put in. So let us say your length is seven, your width is two, and your height is four. You don't need to draw anything. You just need to put these numbers in. So we can go length times width times height. And we have a length of seven times a width of two times a height of four. So seven times two is 14. And then we're going to times that by four. So we get 56. And this would be feet cubed or 56 cubic feet. Both would be correct answers. So again, the big thing is these can only be applied to rectangular prisms. Say it with me. Rectangular prisms can use length times width times height. Rectangular prisms can use length times width times height. All right, perfect. So today you're just going to be applying this formula to perfect your volume skills. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your work.